Good afternoon. Welcome to the New England Regional Championship from Winchester Speed Park. It's day number three. Kevin Kelly here, Travis Stewart, bringing it to you. Racer X Films helping us put this whole thing together along with Verb Moto. We're crowning champions, Travis. It's been a long weekend. Three full sets of motos. We started doing it this morning early. Champions crowned today brought to you by Amsoil Racing, Planet Fitness, and Factory Connection. Let's start this one off crowning the first moto of the day. That was Schoolboy. Let's check out that action. Credits up for grab here. You got to have that 4.0 GPA to win the championship. Here we go, a little schoolboy action. And grabbing that early lead, number three, James Dakota. He has been money off the gate, Travis. For sure. And uh, right behind him uh, was uh, Desiderio, but Desiderio had to make his way through the pack early on. Yeah, Desiderio on the number 57 Suzuki. You see all the tracker that he had to work through. And uh, by the time he got anywhere clear, Dakota's looking over, like, where is that guy? Here he comes. He'll pop into view, and that's about as close as he was going to get to uh, James Dakotas. I think Dakotas was untouchable all weekend. There's uh, Rensland and then A.J. Cantanzaro, who was expected to be a player here, but he got a, off to a bad start. When you get off to bad starts, you got to deal with stuff like this. You tap the rear wheel, bam, you go down, and there goes your hopes of the championship right there. That will take him right out of the running. Here's some more battling in the back of the pack. The battling was straight through on that class, always as always in the schoolboy class. Absolutely. Like I said, high school credit's up for grab here. You win this, you uh, get a full semester of high school credit, and there's James Dakotas. He is pumped. 4.0 GPA so far. Having a look now at the Super Mini Riders, a blast off the gate, concrete to sand. That's an interesting mix, trying to make that transition. And uh, off to the start. Again, there's your three players. Rider number three, it's James Dakota's 57, Nick Desiderio, and rider number 30, A.J. Cantanzaro, right behind him. That was A.J.'s best shot at a title. He led this thing for about a half lap, then both the kids slipped by him. And then that's uh, a tall order to try to get around that number three rider. He has been untouchable all weekend, Travis. After all of that, Desiderio was left to uh, to deal with Jimmy Dakota's and try to make his way around him. But this is about the closest he came throughout the whole race. Yeah, he had his uh, hands full trying to get around Dakota's and uh, all the while, Rider number 30, A.J. Cantanzaro, was stalking him, trying to figure something out, man. He's a big kid giving up some horsepower, so he's one you're going to have to watch when they finally make that move onto the big bike in traffic. Some problems there for Desidero. He gets caught up, as does A.J. Cantanzaro. Cantanzaro is seeing blood in the water. He is really wanting to get around that number 57 of Desidero. Look how close they are. Some lap problem riders giving him some problems there, but he's able to knife his way through there and reel right back up to Desidero. The win would go to Jimmy Dakotas. Another win under his belt. Well, that was the matchup we were looking for. They were in separate divisions all weekend long. We finally met on the little bike, the big bike. James Dakotas establishing himself as the guy to beat in this uh, New England Regional Championship. James is definitely on fire and uh, looking for, for some national stuff next. Uh, we're going to head off to the 125B next. Yep, just about there. We're getting close to that A class, boys, the B class. So no shame in their game. Let's have a look. 125B. First turn action there. Hang on, guys. Rider number 31 battling early there with Drew Torrance. Remember yesterday, number 31, Haysha, went down, knocked himself unconscious, comes back. He's lights out, man. He was lights out, and he comes out and puts out a lights out performance. He comes out strong. He's such a smooth rider, so capable of just going out. Uh oh, hang on. Look out. He just crashed that El Camino, threw him out of the back window. He is okay, though. That's Kenny Carr. He just helicoptered him right out of the back window. Haysha on it, number 31. He's got the Honda, got the smooth riding style. It's hard to look smooth in sand, and he does a really good job of it. He's pretty used to it. He rides the south look a lot and gets used to it. Uh, second right behind him was Torrance, and behind that was Matty Fisk on the 423 two-stroke. Letitia caught up with your winner, Haysha, on the podium. Hey, it's Letitia. I'm here with Michael Haysha, winner of the 125B class from Connecticut. Michael, you had like a little bit of a crazy weekend. You uh, got tangled up, isn't that right? Yeah, I got knocked out in the first uh, or the second 125A youth moto. Um, that was a crazy. I got put in the back of an ambulance and for a little bit, but I got out here. They gave me the okay to ride this morning, so it was all good. Yeah, it didn't slow you down, and you came out here. You dominated, actually. You got 1-1-1 one, one, one in this class. Um, what was you expecting coming into this weekend? Uh, I just wanted to have fun coming into this weekend. Um, just, I've been having kind of a crazy year. I've been hitting my head a lot, so it's, I just wanted to have fun. I'm happy that I won, but, you know, I would have liked to have done better in the other class, but what can you do? I won this class, so I can't really ask for much more. Well, given that it's you know kind of been a little bit of a crazy year, it's definitely your strongest season back. You uh, were nursing some injuries. Actually, you didn't even get to ride Loretta's this year. Is that correct? Yeah. Um, well, this year we didn't really have the money to go down. So, but last year I had two broken wrists, so I couldn't go down last year. And then the year before I shattered my foot. So, it's been a rough couple of years. But I've I pretty much bounced back, and I'm pretty good now. Um, 
just I'm hoping not to get hurt anymore. It sucks being hurt, so. Well, you're definitely on to a strong start. You got a great win here. Thank you so much for your time. Oh, thank you. Well, it's always nice to have the lovely Letitia Klein here. She was our official start car girl for the Pro Motos. Worked on the podiums. They kept her busy all day. But uh, you know what? The 125 A-Class, they're about to do battle here. And this track got beat up and gnarly. And that's just the way the boys like it. John Dowd, Keith Johnson, all the super fast stars. Marshall, let's have a look at that, Travis. Let's go to it right off. 125A class, here we go into the first turn, it's number 70 for just a brief moment, that's uh, Doobie, but look out, number 340, splitting hairs right there, and that is Robbie Marshall. He's gotten faster and faster as the week has gone on, coming off that injury he sustained at Orlando, and this kid has been lights out towards the end of the day. There's a look at John Dowd, off to a third place finish, so the championship, it's in Dowd's hands, if he can just stay where he's at, but uh, as you'll see, racing with these boys, I mean, Dowd's not holding nothing back, he is going as fast as he can. There goes your leader, Marshall, and look out, hang on, watch this. Boom, that number 16 Suzuki goes down, and that is the start of a bad day for John Dowd. He went down bad. They had to even uh, uh, pull him off the track on a rhino. But uh, here is Marshall trying to stay ahead of Doobie, and he was able to do that for the race win. Yeah, it's just for bragging rights. He doesn't have the uh, title Marshall. They're probably throwing the pit board up saying, just stay where you're at, or Doobie that is. Charbonneau trying to come up through the pack. He would make his way around Pugrat because of some bike trouble. Yeah, we heard him in the announcer's tower. That thing was detonated all over the place, and uh, Charbonneau will take a win or take a better finish anyway. Anyhow, he can get it. Hang on, man. You thought that front end was going to wash out negative. There's your winner, number 340. It's Robbie Marshall, but your champion right there, number 70. Well, tough break for John Dowd. He actually goes down pretty hard, pulls his hand off the grip, flies into the ground, and Dowd never crashes, but when he does, it's usually a big one, and hands off that 125A win to Doobie, and uh, it affected his rise later on in the afternoon, John uh, having some problems there in that 250 class as well. So John's okay, but he took a spill. He doesn't fall very often when he does. It's big. It was bad, and he even took another hard one on that 250. Just bad luck today. And that 250 actually got handed to uh, Keith Johnson, the Planet Fitness rider. So we're going to wrap it up with that. we got the guys packing up and heading out behind us. Remember, brought to you by Racer X Films, Verb Moto, Amsoil Racing, Factory Connection, and Planet Fitness. Take us out. Well, I'm Jeff Frizz. That's Bob Hanna. We'll see you at the next one. Thanks for coming out. Thanks for listening, and we love your body.